Now you've probably heard the word smart money used quite a bit in the Forex markets, but really, do you understand what smart money is all about? So in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what my view is on smart money, and I'm going to give you some tips in this video, exactly how you can use smart money to your advantage when you're taking trades. Now, if you want to learn this in much more depth, my new course, NFXT Forex Masterclass, goes through this in much more detail, and you're gonna get this free indicator you're seeing me sharing with you today, the NFXT Forex Masterclass Trend Indicator. This will all make sense later on in this video, how you can use this indicator here to help you with finding those trade setups. So smart money, to me what smart money is, it's following along in the footprint of those banks. Smart money is those banks, and what they're going to be doing is manipulating us, the retail traders, out of our trades. Let's look at current price. I don't want to be looking at all this price here. We're just going to look at this last area of price because there's no point people teaching you what's happened way back in the past. Anyone can do that. I want to show you what's happened this last month's worth of candles. So let's just go closer into the chart and look at these candles on the chart. First off, we can see here where we see this bearish drop away. What did that candle have to do first? It had to break above this high and it broke above this high in the market. Now this is where I'm seeing the manipulation on the lower time frames. Yes, on this daily time frame, this is nothing more simply than a drop pullback continuation. And many of you already use either a support and resistance strategy or perhaps even use the supply and demand strategies that I teach in this channel. Sometimes though, these strategies are not always going to get you into a trade here with understanding the use of just the supply and demand concept. Now using smart money concepts, it's also going to show you that there's an area here which is a core area of imbalance. And we can also see that the market comes back into that imbalance on this bearish candle before it drops away. And that is something that I do teach as well in that masterclass. I go through exactly how you use that imbalance to look to take a trade from. But this is just to share with you that idea and the concept of smart money. This is going to be the area where you're going to look for a trade. Now, once the market drops down, pulls back, again, what do we then have here? We have another high, we have another high, and we see the market again showing us this manipulation before it drops away. And again, just like this one here. It's the manipulation in the market where we're seeing the push above a couple of highs and we want to see a spike like this, not just a close above, unless of course you're going to see something like this candle here. So we see this candle near enough closing above and a second candle closing back down and then it drops away. I'm not saying you have to even look at the lower time frames because look at this. This is an engulfing candlestick and it drops away after you see this manipulation. This is an indecision candlestick. Okay, so that's not the best candle to look for a trade. But look at the next candle. It's an inside candle and then we drop away. If you understand your candlesticks going with a trend, then something like this inside candle is a great way to see the market drop down. And you could have waited for this bearish engulfing candle and then took a sell. But what we're going to do in this video is to, to help you to understand the way those markets are manipulated with smart money is we're going to look at these areas on the chart on the lower time frames. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use these to look for in advance trade setups. Because this is really waiting for this to happen on a daily candlestick you can pick up these trades using a lower time frame and what you're going to see with my trend indicator. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to highlight these areas first. There is a manipulation in the market. There's a manipulation in the market. And again, you, you really want to see at least a couple of highs. So here we can see this manipulates these three highs and manipulates this high here as well. So we have quite a few highs manipulated and then this one to the left again we can see we have a couple of highs manipulated at the same time 
So if we now go down to a four hour first, we'll go back to where that area is. Let's go to this first one. What do you notice already looking at my trend indicator? When we see the market come back to these highs and we see this one push up manipulation followed by this bearish candle, look at my indicator. It is above this area on the 50, turning over to head down. And this is how you can use my indicator to pinpoint your entries. You don't even need to look at anything else, but there is other things here at play. There's another reason why this is a great trade. But again, I'm not gonna go into that in this video because that is more what I teach inside that Forex Masterclass. So looking at this area, if you was then to go down to a one hour time frame, now this is using multiple time frames now with our smart money concept. What do we see on the indicator once again? We see a manipulation of this high as the market pushes up and we create this candlestick and we break to the downside at the same time as my indicators rolling over. Now I can even go down to a 15 minute chart here. And again, we can see multiple time frames. We come up, we're above, and at the same time, the market drops away. Now, this is where you can start using a supply and demand concept. Because when we see the market moving sideways, we break down with this big bearish candle. What did that leave behind? That leaves behind this small area here of supply, where we see the market drop away, pulls back into that bullish candle, and we drop away. So that is how you can actually look to take an entry with a manipulation by doing with smart money. Now the reason these work well, and again, let me just go back to a four hour, or yeah, go back to a four hour. The reason these work so well is because what the banks are doing here, they know that people have sold here, retail traders. If you've sold from this area in the market, where are you gonna place your stop? You're gonna place your stop above the high of that candle. And when we see the market pulling back here once again, and it drops away, then we see a push higher. Where are we going to see stops once again? We're going to see more stops left above this high because traders think this is a pullback and continuation to fall. But then they are removed by this bullish candle. And then we see the market starting to head higher where we're going to start seeing people buying the market. So not only have they now taken the stops of people who sold, they're now manipulating you into buying the market. We see this candle breaking above the highs. It doesn't have to go that far to take those stops. And then the market drops down, removing these lows, which is then more stops in the market where we see the momentum actually dropping as it takes those stops. It's gonna take those sell stops and the market falls away. That is all really the banks are doing, is what I see they're doing personally, that they're manipulating us into taking those trades. Even smaller time frames like this area here, we see another manipulation. And on a smaller time frame, this is gonna show breakout traders perhaps on a 15 minute, five minute chart, they're buying the market as it's breaking out this previous high, and then they just sell the market back down, manipulating you again out of your trades. So let's have a look at the next section of this manipulation area. Again, we see this high manipulated. We see this high manipulated. At the same time, we even draw this high, which is manipulated to the upside. And when we see this, we have a bearish engulfing candle. My indicators above that high again, turning over. And if you understand your supply and demand concepts on the lower time frames, we're seeing a breakout, which is gonna leave behind an area of supply, which we'll have a look at in the moment, where you can take an entry. So you can capture those reversal trades. So dropping down here to, let's look at a 30 minute. Let's just find that area we were looking at. And here we are. So when we see the market here, we make that manipulation, there's a final push. So even here, we can see it makes one final manipulation. The market's not happy with manipulate this high, this high, and this high. We drop down, we then basically manipulate this low, we rally up, manipulate this high, and we drop away. Now we've got confirmation we're breaking out of this low, which is market structure, leaving behind a confirmation entry of this area. Now I wouldn't use this candlestick, but I would drop down to lower time frame to find a better candlestick. But the idea 
is the same. If we now move over, you're going to see that when the market did create this pin bar, where's my indicator? It's showing you the reversal. We pull back in, we create this small pin bar. Again, the indicator is showing you your entry. And this was the area of supply where we see the market pulling back into for that trade. This is also key. There's a, this is a tested zone and the market has to go to a certain point to get an entry, which it does. And we manipulate this high in the process. So looking down at a lower time frame here, at this area, which is something more that I'm going to share with you inside that Forex Masterclass, we go down to a five minute entry. If we can find that area, let me just remove all this. And when we see the market, actually creates this manipulation. We drop down, we break this area of structure, leaving behind this area here of supply. What does the market do? It drops through. I mean, let me just actually draw that zone out with the candle here. So there's that area of supply. Now you can see we drop out, we pull back, we test it to the pip, and then you see the market drops away. So you can even go down to lower time frames and confirm that reversal at that manipulation during that day. And this all starts with just using these daily candle highs and lows. So that is how I see smart money concept. And that's how I use it in my trading. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, if you really want to master these markets, understand how to look for these types of trades with the use of a smart money concept and a supply and demand approach, and the use of my Forex Masterclass Trend Indicator, then you want to head over and have a look to see if you can still grab one of those 50 places in that course. Now the link for that is below in the description of this video. Now I do hope you've enjoyed this content today on the use of Smart Money Concept. If you have, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and that's going to help me to continue to do videos like this for you in the future. And today's code word for you to leave down below in those comments is going to be smart money. You guessed it, it had to be smart money this week based on this video. Now I did do a poll and this is what came up that you want to see more videos with the use of smart money concepts. If that is what you want to see more in the future, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know that is what you want to see more of. Going forward in the future, we want to be working together so I can help you every step of the way with your trading. Now, if you wanted to continue with some more knowledge on exactly how I trade, there's going to be a couple of videos popping up right now for you to go through and to help with your education through this channel.